Big surprise, I drive a minivan. Two kids drive a minivan. Minivans get a bad rap, they do. But when you're driving down the street in a minivan, you see a policeman behind you, no fear in your heart whatsoever. It's great. <laughs> Even if you have a Bud Light out the window, it doesn't matter. <laughs> the cop's just like, move it along. You've clearly been punished enough. <laughs> country to find you the best stand-up comedians of the week. Now, here's your host, Steve Hofstetter. Welcome to another episode of Laughs. We have a great one for you tonight, and let's get it kicked off in the right way. This comic is a fixture on Chocolate Sundays, the hottest urban show in Los Angeles. He leaves his audiences crying laughing. It's Esau McGraw. My family is irregular. Start off with my grandmother. Had 13 kids, started having them way younger than she was supposed to. My mom, the oldest of the 13, got eight kids of her own. She started having them way younger than she was supposed to. I'm in the middle of her eight. Long story short, I'm raising my uncle. He nine. <laughs> I'm a grown ass man. This dude in the third grade. I'm his nephew. I picked this little punk up from school. He jumped in my car and pulled family rank. Man, make a left. I know where your house is. <laughs> you live with me, punk. When we get home, you gonna take a nap? No, you gonna take a nap? No, you gonna take a nap? No, you gonna take a nap? You know my mama's your mama's mama. I know your mama's my mama's mama. Get your hand out of my face, Uncle James. And now, Mad as Hell with Tom Simmons. I'm not worried about flying because of terrorists. I'm worried about flying because of the pilots, all right? Because they're regular people just like us. I saw a story last year where the Delta pilots were planning on going on strike. It never occurred to me that airline pilots might be disgruntled at work. Pay them whatever the hell they want, right? I don't fly much, but when I do, I don't want to be on the flight where the pilot's are like, you know, screw this job. <laughs> You're taking one for my union brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I was in New York, the toll booth operators are threatening to go on strike. Toll booth operators? That'd be hilarious to see them while walking around with their picket signs like, we're on strike, we're on strike. Wait a minute, I'm working harder. <laughs> I'm out here walking around carrying things. Look, you should not be striking if you can be replaced by a basket, all right? <laughs> At least the pilot has some skills. And if I was a pilot and they would negotiate with me in the front office, I would just take negotiations to a totally different group of people. Every flight, I'd just be like, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. I don't think Delta Airlines pays me enough to finish this flight. I'm gonna shut a few things off and take a little nap. In the meantime, I'll have the flight attendants walking through the aisles, passing around my hat. And for every dollar you put in there, I'll get us that much closer to the airport. The inventor of Hot Pockets has died. For his wishes, his exterior will be cremated while his organs remain ice cold. But now the big issue in our marriage is we're from two totally different worlds. Like, I grew up in inner city Portland, and she grew up in a farm town of 200 people. So her whole family is super outdoorsy. Like, they do everything. Camping, hunting, whitewater rafting. I don't even know what that last one is, okay? <laughs> And I kind of don't want to know, because whatever it is, it sounds hella racist. <laughs> I give up after the first sentence. OK, we're going to put you in this boat. Nope, not doing it. Mm -mm. <laughs> Let's go bird watching or something like that. <laughs> and it's hard, too, because every time like, you turn down an outdoorsy activity in front of her family, you just look like an angry black dude. I'm a stereotype <laughs> all the time. Like, she asked me to go skin in front of everybody, and I said no, very politely, I might add. But that's not what everybody heard. <laughs> Apparently, what everybody heard was, hell no, I ain't gonna skin. Shh. I ain't gonna pay money to go up a mountain just to slide back down. What the hell with that? I ain't gonna lose money and end up in the exact same place that I started. You can go to hell. I'm trying not to be like that, though. And it's like, she's not even the most outdoorsy one. Like, her dad is the epitome of a mountain man. He's got the big Duck Dynasty beard with squirrels living in it. <laughs> he killed a bear once, not with a gun, but with a bow and arrow. One shot. A bow and arrow. That's a flying stick, am I correct? 
energy. I love seeing like so many beige people in the crowd. Because uh, I'm beige. It's a color. Okay, uh, so, uh, cause I'm beige and I live in LA, so what happens is I get told I look like any racially ambiguous celebrity people can think of. I've heard I look like Paula Abdul, uh, the Pussycat Doll Chick, The Rock. <laughs> One of my favorites the other day, this guy comes up to me and he's like, hey, has anybody ever told you you look like a Jackson. <laughs> and I was like, Janet? He said, no, Michael. <laughs> you look like Michael Jackson. <laughs> I know, I think he saw the hurt in my face, and so then he was like, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. You look like what Michael Jackson was going for. One day with a five-year-old, I finally understood why my dad took so long in the bathroom every time he went in there. Yeah, some of you know right now. Some of you are parents. You don't even have to go sometimes. You're just hiding in there. It's your safe place. It's your panic room. You just lock the door. I can't be out there with that monster right now. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a bad grown-up. I didn't leave the house. I'm inside a smaller house. <laughs> Full of magazines. I'll be here all afternoon. I don't even like golf. I'll just... Because that is literally what I did. I'm a grown man, and I was hiding in a bathroom from a five-year-old boy, and this is what this little monster child did to me. He just paced. <laughs> back and forth outside the bathroom door like a <laughs> velociraptor from Jurassic Park. Just back and forth stalking his prey just got me cornered like are you serious idiot <laughs> is this your first day on the job one way in one way out next time you meet a super hot girl or guy and rush home to investigate their entire life on facebook check us out too at facebook.com slash last tv show i know you'll be super disappointed to find out there's no pictures of steve in a bikini but there will be jokes lots and lots of jokes here's the thing i was married for two years right and i walked in on her cheating on me and if you've ever been cheated on you know it kills your libido like, I can no longer watch normal porn, does nothing for me. From here on out, the only thing I can watch that, like, gets me movement has to be monogamy porn. <laughs> and, uh, that doesn't exist. I'm still looking for a clip that's just called Wife Blows Pool Cleaner's Mind. And in it, all you see is some disheveled husband walks off to work. Out of nowhere, some shredded up Latino pool cleaner pulls up walks to the front door with ever so much swag and who answers the most beautiful wife you've ever seen and he says to her yo i just seen that loser leave her for work how about i just clean your pool <laughs> and she looks at him and goes that loser's name is trevor i've been with trevor for 25 years I'm not about to throw away the love and commitment Trevor has given me on some fleeting sexual experience with you. Now you get out there and you clean Trevor's pool. <laughs> and now, Young as Hell with Taylor Tomlinson. I just finished college, so this is, oh, thank you. Thank you, yep, dropped out. <laughs> feel good about it. Uh, it's okay, don't worry. It was community college. I basically just gave up on quitting. Um, no, community college, no disrespect. It is a great affordable option, but like so is the Dollar Tree, and you don't want to go there ever. Like, here's the thing. I, the thing I liked about community college, there are very low expectations for you. Because you go to university, they're like, what's your five-year plan? Do you have a major yet? You got your AA? You on track to graduate on time? You go to community college, they're like, did you shower today? Dean's List. High five, buddy. Get a juice box. Use this commercial break to call your mom and wake her up. She hates that. It's laughs. If laughter is the best medicine, then we're your free universal health care for your face. It's laughs. This comic is actually a full-time high school history teacher. 
about to drop some knowledge on you from Everett, Washington. It's Corey Michaelis. Here's a thing that might be cool about me. You guys can decide. I married my high school sweetheart. Oh, yeah. And she, she did not. <laughs> she married this creep. And uh, we just got a divorce, which is fine. We're great friends, just not on Facebook. She immediately unfriended me and then changed her profile picture to like the most gorgeous picture of her ever. All photoshopped and Instagram filtered. I was like, really? You're already out on the market? Well, two can play at this game, right? So I changed my profile picture to the most hideous picture of her ever. <laughs> I think I win round one, right? I'm in the lead, is that how this works? I've been going on dates, went on a date recently, 10 minutes in, the girl was like, oh no, I forgot to take a picture of your license plate and text it to all my friends. <laughs> Why? She goes, you know, just in case I go missing. She goes, I probably shouldn't have told you this. And I said, no, you should definitely tell the guy. Because if he doesn't know, you're still going missing. In fact, take a picture now, text all your friends, I don't care. And she goes, are you sure? Isn't this kind of creeping you out? And I was like, nah, this isn't my car. <laughs> you thought I was gonna kidnap you in my car? I'm not an idiot. You had to choose between your significant other or free hot wings for life. What kind of sauce are you gonna get? Let's say you're an amazing writer, but you're also a total chicken, and the thought of doing stand-up in front of a ton of strangers makes you want to vomit. Well, put your barf bags away, because you can still be on laughs. Just head over to Twitter and tag us in all your super funny tweets using the hashtag LaughsTV. I grew up in the barrio, and when I was a little kid, I was like, uh, you know, I'm gonna save my money. When I grow up, I'm gonna move out of the barrio, and I did. I, when I turned 18, I saved up just enough money to move out of the barrio and into the ghetto. <laughs> If you never lived there, I'll tell you, it's just exactly the same. It's just that the ghetto is louder. That's it. We had neighbors that fought upstairs every single night, and the wife just sounded like a car alarm. All I would hear is her up there yelling, going, What? 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 Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Uh uh. Uh uh. and be like, ah, shut up! <laughs> Walls are paper thin. I'm pretty sure the lady next door is masturbating all the time. Either that or she's flying a remote control airplane. Loops. Stop. Tamar time. Dating in your 40s isn't cool. Dating in your 40s is like shopping at Ross. It is. It's all the stuff you guys didn't buy. Yeah. Right? But don't feel bad for me, because just like at Ross, every once in a while, you're like, oh my god, look at this. I can't believe nobody bought this! But upon further inspection, you're like, oh, there it is. I see it now. One of the arms is all messed up. After the break, Lucas Seeley and Eddie Pence thinks human babies are exactly like zombies. Here's a good ab workout. More laughs. It's all my life, 20 plus years living, never dated, kissed, anything with an Asian girl. So all my relatives make fun of me, like, oh, you act so white, you're so white for an Asian, you are so white. And I'm like, James. <laughs> well, lately my palate's changed and I've been into Asian girls. I'm like, holy crap, maybe I am white. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
I have a gnarly Asian fetish now, don't <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, very nice. My parents, I love my parents. Like, uh, we have a great relationship. Like, I can talk about anything. My dad tries to give me, like, relationship advice, you know? Like, my dad's a very, like, old school Asian dude, very by the book, you know? Like, probably paid money for my mom, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. She is out of his league for sure. My dad comes up to me, he's like, don't worry, my friend. Um, the guy playing my dad in the story is played by an Indian. So just follow along. <laughs> Don't worry, my friend. <laughs> when I was your age, I had a different girl every day. You need to do the same thing, I tell you. And I'm looking at him, my mom's standing right next to him, right? I'm like, ooh. <laughs> mom, are you gonna sit here and listen to dad talk like this? She goes, yeah, he did. <laughs> I Friday, and I'm like, what? <laughs> Netflix, $8. Hulu, $8. YouTube, $0. You can catch all of our episodes at youtube.com slash last TV show every single week. And you can use all that money you save to go buy yourself one latte. I'm trying to raise a child in Los Angeles, which should be illegal. It should be illegal. <laughs> they shouldn't let you do it. You should be at the hospital like, oh, here, here we go, Mr. Prince. Here's your brand new baby boy. He's very healthy. Congratulations. So were you and your wife just driving through LA and she went to labor? What happened there? <laughs> oh no, we live here. Oh, okay, yeah, we can't have that. I'm just gonna take him back. <laughs> no, 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 we're, we're gonna ship him to Guam where he has a chance. <laughs> and having a toddler walking around your house? A lot like having a two and a half foot tall zombie walking around your home. A lot of similarities there. No coordination, a lot of drooling, dead in the face. <laughs> 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 And then they'll just take the most wicked spill you've ever seen in your life. Just, uh, <laughs> you're like, oh my God, he's dead. <laughs> that was like a Ric Flair fall. No one gets up from that. <laughs> We're in so much trouble. Don't turn the channel, because when we come back, we've got our friends, the kids table, and a sketch by Nepotism TV. Welcome back to 100% free range, grass-fed comedy. It's laughs. Hi, welcome to LOL at work with the kids table. The show we make while our boss is at lunch. I'm Igor. And I'm Emily. Are we done yet or when? Can you not be so grumpy? It's just cake. Oh, it's just cake? Brenda always gets the last slice. Always, why, do, how does she have a nose for the last slice? Her office is right next to the kitchen. Like you wouldn't take whatever was in there if you were right next to the kitchen? No, I wouldn't. I would cut the last piece in half and I would say, peace to all, I'm taking my slice. Do you remember when there was that supreme pizza in the kitchen and she took off all of the toppings and made it cheese? Order a cheese pizza, Brenda. Anyway, here's this week's sketch. I hope you like it. I hope Brenda dies. No, I, I know it's sad. It's supposed to be sad. It's a, it's a sad movie. Well, which parts of the script made you cry specifically? What the hell, Dick? What? What is your problem, bro? Uh, pardon? You ruined my coffee. Oh my God, I am so sorry. I, I gotta call you back. I, I am so sorry. I, th I you thought- You thought what? I, I, I thought that you were like panhandling. <laughs> Do you want me to punch you in the face? No, right no. It's just, you were, you were holding a cup. I was drinking a coffee. I know, it, I, we, we, yeah, but I, I thought you were homeless. Oh, 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 I gotta be homeless cause I'm black. No, no, that is not what I meant at all. It's, it's, it's cause you got a beard. You know, and, and your clothes, you know, when I'm walking by, your clothes are kind of homelessy. You know what, I feel real bad. Let me just give you some more money. I don't want your money, man. No, no, not because you're homeless, because you're not. I, I can tell that you're not now. No, it, the, the money's for your coffee, so you get a new coffee. But you don't need my money to get, you go get your own, you know, take it or leave it. You know, you're a free man. Not like that, not like that. You are a free man in this instance, because you're free with the coffee. I, I am sorry. I, are you hungry? I'm not homeless, I go to Columbia. Of course you do, of course you, you know what? Just just for your time, for your time, I'm just, just gonna put that there and I gotta go because I'm late to a thing. I'm late to not, because I'm scared of you, because I'm not, because I wouldn't be. I just gotta, I gotta think, just good, just good luck this semester. How'd you do? I gave me $20. Nice. 
Good job. They always give you more when they're scared. Yes, they do. <laughs> That's it! That's the show! Have a good night!